Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're all about the holiday spirit, and while many of us are looking forward to warm vacations with our families, our travel expert, Davey Sutton, is here to inspire us to try a winter excursion aboard a cruise ship. <laughs> Please welcome back down to the circle, Davey Sutton. Hey. I trust you, though. Yeah. So when you recommend something, I'm going to go ahead and say at least let me try or think about trying to do it. What if I tell you it's wrapped around Christmas? Like a Christmas market yeah. cruise ship. And it's a luxury cruise line on a river. On so, a river? Right. Okay, so we so gotta break that all the way gonna down. We're gonna break it all the way down. So <laughs> let's go back. Winter cruise and it's cold. Yes. What's, I know you're bringing in all the other good stuff, yes. which we're gonna talk about, but what what's the initial attraction? Well, I never thought this was something that I would ever wanna do until mm -hmm. I saw it. And I said, this would be a fabulous trip to go to Europe's iconic Christmas markets because Christmas, like, so when I got there, Christmas starts immediately on December and it's different than it happens here. Mm -hmm. Every town, every cobblestone, street is lit with lights wow. there the markets are out on every village so this is something that i think is great for a girl's trip mm -hmm. a mom daughter trip but there were also couples on that trip mm -hmm. as well yes. yes so when you take these trips are you by yourself baby <laughs> i actually took one of my best friends on okay. this trip because we were going to hop around to markets so we went to five countries in central europe places i never thought i would go we went to germany austria hungary we went to czech republic and slovakia and uh, we visited 10 Christmas markets. <laughs> you live, you know, you're living, you're living the best life ever. Right. You get to I'm, travel. Right. And then we also boarded this river, this luxury river cruise um, off, and it was on the Danube, which is the second largest river in um, Europe. So the difference with a river cruise than those ocean liners is that you're on a river and it's smaller. Yes. So it's not as overwhelming. Yeah. And this is a luxury line. So your stateroom is large. We had like double beds. We had a sitting area, full bath full shower, wow. a deck, and then in addition to that, the, it was white tablecloth service, and we had, and the, the staff was impeccable, they were charismatic, and they made help round out the trip as well. Yeah, so, so what are some of the things that you actually, I mean, you, you talked about the Christmas market, which was great, but what else, when you're traveling to all these different countries, how do you find the best thing to do? Right, okay, so first let me tell you a little more about the Christmas markets, yeah. because okay. the Christmas markets are places that the locals go, so it's not just a tourist attraction. So you get to see the locals come out, and they're in a festive mood, and you get an opportunity to buy trinkets. Usually when I travel, I don't buy things, but I like. The, but this is a great opportunity to buy things that are unique of yeah. places around the world, and you can bring them back. For example, I got this hat in Germany. Uh, the first stop, the first day, is a 100% wool hat that could be uh, around $100 here in the States. Mm -hmm. I got it for 25 euros. So me and my buddy, we bought one on our first night, and we're like, okay, we're gonna spend all of our money. Right, because, this is beautiful. Right, and it was made from a village in Germany, in Wilshofen, Germany. What, what is it? Wilshofen. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it took me a while to learn it, so I like to say it. Yes. And then the other thing is, in uh, a lot of the markets are in the, the shadows of palaces and mm -hmm, castles, mm -hmm. and we went to, in Vienna, the Schomburg Market, Schomburg Palace Market, and in that part of the world, they are good at wood crafting. So I actually brought you a little wood, ornament oh, for wow. your tree as a oh, gift for you. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, so we collect ornaments in our family. Yeah, and that's it's from, it's from Austria. So those are the kind of things for, for the markets. But outside of that, you, it's a chance to explore the, the ancient towns, the cobblestone streets, to take the hills. So I took a, a few hikes um, that were really intrepid. Mm -hmm. And then I also took a, a bike ride. I took an 11 mile bike ride around Vienna, Austria. Oh so gosh. you get to do, a, a, you can do a variety of things. It's not just, it, they have everything Thing for a range of people they have like gentle walkers to the more intrepid adventurous type yeah. as well. so is the, which is your day filled with things or do you just sometimes take some time to just go and get a bite to eat so or just give relax you, they give you a lot of options and you can build your itinerary as you choose okay so you can stack it and take you know like i'm gonna do this and this and that and the, the our cruise manager was quite funny and saying like all of you guys are signed up for all of these things but we know how it is by day seven so it was a an eight a seven day seven day eight Eight night cruise mm -hmm. and um, it was just um, aboard that beautiful ship it's a brand new ship the ship just was built in um, they just launched it in the middle of the summer okay. so so it was just an all-around surprising experience but I think that you should wrap your head around about probably taking it so don't even worry about like 
the cold. Well, okay, so when you go into the cold, you're, you're gonna be exploring. So here are some quick tips to, okay. to do, like wear the proper layers, mm -hmm. invest in a good base layer. That means like 100% merino wool, mm -hmm. a base layer, invest in cashmere, then you won't have to bulk up so much. Right. And then a good solid down jacket, and I wasn't cold at all. Yeah. And I mean, I was cold, but I wasn't freezing to the point where I was mis miserable. The other thing is if you're gonna do something like this, go to the ATM in your landing, in the, the uh, in Europe mm -hmm. and withdraw the money and then you won't have to pay the exchange fee. So you know like people they go and exchange their currency at yeah. the at the de the desk and the kiosk at the airport. If you just withdraw from your ATM, I wasn't charged but that's according to my bank any um, exchange fees or foreign services. And fees. then your bank can do it for you they too. They just did it. Yeah, 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 I just withdrew euros and it was just the perfect yeah, exchange. Yeah, I did it online when my daughter went to Quebec and they I was I was like this $100 and they sent me back whatever the money is in yeah, Canada. They're, yeah, the that. Canadian dollar. Right, right, the Canadian dollar. Yeah, Rashawn did that one. But I'm so happy for you because you're inspiring people to really travel and like explore options outside of the U.S. And thank you so much. Yes. You're always a, just, a, just a delight. All right. Thank you. And you can get some delightfully great tips by following Davey Sutton on Instagram at Davey Sutton. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time and your smile.